Hey everyone, and welcome to Stephanie Reacts to Avatar, The Last Airbender. Well, I liked the last episode. As you can see, I've got a few names wrote down I have. And I've got that they're going to the South Pole. And you've got to do penguin sliding and that. And you have to help Katara learn water bending to do. So, let's jump into this and see if they reach the South Pole or whatever. So this will be Avatar The Last Year Bender, Book 1, Water, Episode 2, The Avatar Returns. Ooh, you get to find out who the new Avatar is, or the old Avatar. Because he says he returns, so I'm guessing you have not seen him yet. Let's jump in here and see. See, it looks like an old man or something. So that's the avatar. We'll get to see. Wow, this is a beard. Oh, Ang's avatar, right? Okay. Nice. I think that's a new start, okay? Eh? We bit added, don't you, from the last one? So then we go that in episode one. But Ang's the avatar. We did. I forgot. Right, where are we? Why? We're reaching is the people again. If it hasn't been outcasted, Ang was. I knew it. You signaled the fire navy with that flare. You're leading them straight to us, aren't you? Ang didn't do anything. It was an accident. No. I uh, jumped to the wire by mistake. Yeah. Aye. Uh, hey, the traitor confesses. Warriors away from the enemy. The foreigner is banished from our village. Sokka, you're making a mistake. No, I'm keeping my promise to Dad. I'm protecting you from threats like him. Bans on them? No, no. She says in the intro, Ang's the avatar. As she said in the intro tune. You should try it sometime. Get out of our village. Yeah, try it sometime. For the fight with fun. Don't let Sokka do this. Katara, you knew going on that ship was for business. Fight. Fight with fun. North Pole, so it was South Pole. Alright. Really my bad. Let me check my notes. Family? Right, I got South Pole. So it's the North Pole then, I got it. Gang banished. <laughs> I'm banished. Appa, Appa. Oh, yep, yep, no, Appa. Appa. <laughs> oh, oh, son. Has she got a name? The rain has. Cause she said, Ang, I'll miss you, and that's me for him I'll miss you too, and for name. You happy now? There goes my one chance of becoming a waterbender. Oh. 
Grand Grand, you did wrong, wrong. <laughs> Fire Nation about to attack. Yeah, I like it too. <gasps> yeah, Fire Nation about to attack. Ah, uh, he's that firebender guy. Who's learning his training. Wow, love that mask. Ooh. That mask looks epic. He looks deed, that face paint. <laughs> it sounds like he can blend into the ice, too. But he looks... They make a pure like a dead person or that or from the from the afterworld. Yep, oh your ice is melting. Fire's coming it means. Fire melts ice. It's getting a wee hints here. Fire's on his way, so we're melting you. Wow. So so that Chip. Crack no the ice. Oh, for some reason, I just want to save the rain. Soccer, is that right? Last time I couldn't even remember, I didn't even get to hear his name proper, I don't think. What are you doing now? One. Got a space for it. Soccer, there. <laughs> Did we get a name for him, the firebender guy? Wow, the platoon. Two different in the helmets. <coughs> that didn't work. <coughs> Hiding who? Don't tell them, but hiding who? He'd be about this age, master of all elements. Oh, watch, watch. Do what I'm talking for, but <laughs> he's gonna get clobbered, isn't he? Seen it a million times in enemies. Somebody running to. Somebody, a goof running like that, always gets hit. You missed. He gets watered again. <coughs> bump, bump, bump. <laughs> That was amazing. Bump. Woo! Yan's going back on a penguin. Whoops, see him bummed. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Penguin.
Herzlich willkommen, ihr banischt um, ihr thanken um. Mich habe ich mein Socker, if you want them there or no. So, the intro spoiled it for me then. <laughs> if you got Aang's avatar. And he's that same just found it. So we just found it there. Come on, Aang, you can defeat him. Go, use your fancy sword. Will you? I told you I name, I'm going to call him the Firebender. There you go. Now I'm just going to be building into it. Oh, yes, yeah, she's do. Ba ba ba, no bots. Oh yeah, I'm oh, ship ready. I'm oh, not sure. I bought. Your boyfriend. Oh, grand, grand. She go. She was prepared for you. Oh. Katara and Aang. Katara and Sokka. Passing the duty on his nails. Alright, watch me your sticks going. Do you know where you get it? When he's rescuing you? I guess you never fought airmen. I bet I can take you both and I don't like that. Can you? Take both of them. They're not going to do you know that child though. Wow, sweet breath. Powerful air breath. You probably see the magic words then. Yep, yep. Aye, uh, yep, yep. Is he gonna fly? Stop! 
the fight, Abba! <laughs> Ew. Come on, fight your staff. Shhh. I like the myth. Shhh. <laughs> yeah, your staff's there. Yeah. Oh, Look trapped. Like Ooh. Ah. Flip what I'm doing, look at my ass. Oh, could they be done to you then? Dump, dump, dump. That won't do much, that's only a puddle. Concentrate, Katara. No. <laughs> you ice bended them then, you froze them. Oh, maybe that called? Maybe that's called? If it all matter freezes quickly? So here's a bit of a... Mm -hmm. uh, it's a flying bison. <clears throat> but if that all your men are frozen? But if you're firebending? Slow motion. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Good news from the fire hall. The fire nation's greatest threat. Just that kid, that kid, Uncle, just did this. I won't underestimate him again. Take the ship out and follow them. As soon as you're done with that. How did you do that? With the water? It was uh, a Right everyone, wow, so we learned more about your Aang then, even I learned it before with the intro then, it spoiled it for me, 
blamed the Ang as the avatar we did. And we got another rope from this fight fire with fun. So Ang, because he's a child still, he likes to have a lot of fun and a lot of nonsense in his head and carry on. So he doesn't take being an avatar seriously, doesn't he? <clears throat> He just thinks it's all fun and games, he can write penguins, carry on with snow and all that. So he thought maybe he can fight the firebenders with some fun by carrying on. And when he slid under the firebender guy, there's a penguin, and knocked him on his backside. And then we got, along with the way Ang banished. Because they tripped a trip baby trap in the last episode, and that's Fire Navy. They let, know, they let the Fire Nation know where they were, and because of that, they came over after, after, I <laughs> get my words right, came after the Water Nation, because of that, saw soccer, and his gran banished Ang away for their safety, I'm guessing. But why would you like banish some? even if he's a child, you don't know he's an avatar by the, here, by then. But, <clears throat> why would you like to banish a child? He's a, who's an airbender, they just know. Why? Then I've got Fire Nation about to attack. So, <clears throat> that all comes back to like the first bit when I say about fight fire with fun, kind of thing. Because Sokka says that to you, Aang, you know, you can't fight fire with fun, but with this bit, Fire Nation was getting ready to attack and stuff, and you seen them with their epic helmets on. Wow, I love that helmet look. Whoa. Can you something like Charles Xavier, eh? The first and second X-Men film I saw, with Patrick Stewart. <coughs> it was, but it has, was playing round, it was, just normal. But with the firebend it's got like a spike here, a spike there, and a spike there. Or something. And I was like, wow, that was epic. That is. Then you saw all these eyes, the red eye kind of thing. Oh. And then we've got, <clears throat> Aang made the, fire, the firebender to keep his promise not to attack K Katara and Sokka and their Water Nation people. If Van goes along with them. But yeah, kept his promise. I'm guessing so. I'm guessing that Firebender guy, I'm totally on his name, because he said, I'm calling him Firebender. So until then, <coughs> I'm guessing he's a man of his word. It's like a knight, kind of thing. If he gives his word, he must honour that promise. I'm guessing. So he doesn't say, like, I'll keep my promise, you come with me. Then he goes with him, then he sends his men to attack them. Didn't he do that? So. That's one thing I can say about this firebender. <clears throat> he keeps his word. He's a man of his word then, <clears> Tay. <throat> uh, and Katara and Sokka were riding, <coughs> went to save Aang. But Sokka, but Katara didn't think Sokka was ready. Or didn't want to save Aang. Because Sokka didn't actually like Aang never. But he had the boat ready for him, and Grand Grand had a few things ready for them also. <coughs> but in the end, we didn't need the boat. We saw him going on Appa. It was in soccer making a film, like saying, fly, go, ride, yeah, get up. Like stupid words, just to mock Appa and mock Anne's style. <coughs> And Katara kept saying to Appa, you have to fly. Sokka doesn't believe in you, you know. And <laughs> Sokka made the mistake. But he's supposed to know, yep, yep. So then he's seen the uh, Appa flying the sky. But I thought that would take him two or three episodes to find. We get more and either wee bit of a story, see them fighting firebenders, or them visiting different islands, try to find Aang. But they actually found them in this one episode they did. So that was good how you done that. Then and when Aang was in the Fire Navy captured, he says to them, I can beat you with my hands tied behind my back. 
They didn't lie, right? Can you sign? Come off yourself. Then you see them being <gasps> blown and they fell back. And the one went in front of him forward. The one back him flew back also. And <laughs> he escaped. Wow. That's just the start of his powers from here, as we saw from here. That was whack. Or well, a few people, I'm fairly UK, but a few people in America might say, that was sick. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> then, I've got like, when we see Appa flying, that was a great thing. And, no, Sokka was like, I knew he could fly, but then he didn't, he was just saying that kind of thing. Then the next second page, I wrote more, but I wrote in the first page, now that I very first for episode one. We've got this air ball riding. So when Anne was fighting that firebender, swam on a wee ball, like a ball of air, skating around the, the room. It's like something you would have on a computer game. You, cl you click the button, you ride it along, we'll be joy packed and thing to try to avoid the enemy. I wonder if you actually can do that in a computer game. If this is a game. I don't know if this is a game or not, so... If anyone's out there know <coughs> if this is a computer game also, and if you can ride that airball, you seen them then, let me know in the comments, please. Oh. Then... Uh, aye. Then we saw when uh, Aang was knocked in the water. I thought he was going <coughs> to turn into a big ice cube again. And freeze himself up. Because in the first episode, you saw him fall. I think it was a dream he had. He fell in the, fall in the water. He used his powers and he froze up to an ice. And it surrounded him. But with this one, his eyes closed again. But this time he turned into like a water tornado. He did. He flew up to the Fire Nation boat. And he was through like water. Oh, 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 oh. I'm getting excited here. He threw water all over them, he did. So, I can water bend, I'm guessing now. Because he, he, we know he's an avatar, but he's, yeah, he's an avatar. And he knows what air bending we've seen. But that's the first time we've seen him do water bending. So, I think he can do fire and air also, maybe. <coughs> but, Katara asked him. Why did you know you used these powers before, or stuff like that, or did you know you had these kind of powers? Or why did you not tell me, tell us you were an avatar? And he actually says he didn't want to be an avatar, he just wanted to be a child. He didn't have fun, anything I'm guessing. So because of this, he didn't know if he's an avatar or not, and he can't control his water bending powers or anything. And says to him, let's go to the North Pole, I'm guessing. And the first episode, I thought they said South Pole, but in this, they said they're going to the North Pole. So, if it's the North Pole or South Pole, whatever pole it is, they're going to learn water bending. But Katara says to Aang, we can all learn it together. Then you can go and come to the water bender, North Pole or South Pole, and help me learn it, and you can learn it yourself more to learn the technicians. So, that's everything I've got in this, and it's a brilliant episode, I can't wait to get into the next one. Let me check what the next episode's called. I'll we continue it right after this a while. The next one is... <coughs> the Southern Air Temple. So I'll see you for the Southern Air Temple. Till then everyone, have a great day, week, night, wherever you are in the world, until then.